These virtual trees are not part of a game, but a simulation of a real forest. Jürgen Rossmann, seen on the right, is from the Institute for Man-Machine Interaction. It works to optimize woodland work processes. With a click of the mouse, he can remove trees and see what the forest will look like in 20 years when everything has grown. Felling machines, known as harvesters, often cause serious damage to trees that are not being chopped down and create unwanted clearings. The aim of the simulation is to avoid such scenarios. This software enables us to understand the best way of approaching an area of forest. We can determine which paths have to be created in order to reach all the earmarked trees and work out how to fell a tree and where to put the timber for ease of transport. I can plan the entire process before a single tree has been felled. Before any of that can happen, though, each tree has to be recorded. That requires the use of a robot equipped with laser scanner, stereo camera, and GPS receiver. Used in combination, the three devices provide highly accurate data. They will later serve the harvester, which needs the exact same measuring instruments. We already had a localization unit on the harvester, which we used to determine and choose trees to be felled based on information in the database. So it's already been used here as well. The harvester follows the plans the scientists drew up on the basis of their data. And unlike the more conventional approach, it does not leave a trail of destruction in its wake. Essentially, we can apply all these optimizations to the felling process in order to treat the forest with as much care as possible. The forest is also analyzed from the sky. Using the octocopter, the scientists record the position and height of the trees. It also makes it easier for them to see any changes as a result of pests or storms. Using their data, researchers can now simulate storms, which could become more frequent as a result of climate change. Green dots show the airflow. Red spells danger. What we're using here are the results of modern fluid mechanics. If we apply them in the forest in conjunction with our data, we can tell which species should and which species should not be planted in a given location, where we should erect protective enclosures, and so on. At the moment, it's still largely researchers who are using computers to access woodland. But they have no doubt that sooner or later, virtual forest planning will become a hit with lumberjacks all over the world.